Hey guys, uh, just a quick video showing you how to do a Bluetooth connection reset. Uh, you only need to do this if you're having trouble connecting to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Sometimes people will be facing some issues when connecting to both of them, uh, like you, you'll be stuck in a loading time. So to fix that, uh, all you need to do is go to settings, go to Bluetooth. You will see your your car your head unit will be named CarKit K. All you need to do is um, navigate to CarKit K, and you're gonna see a icon on the right side. So press on that, and just press forget this device. Yeah, so that's uh, per perfect. Now, just for reassurance that it uh, will be a successful connection reset, all you, need to, all you need to do is scroll down, find general, go to CarPlay. Now, sometimes your car, um, sometimes um, your car kit K, which is your head unit, will be featured under my car. So if it's right there, just uh, press um, forget or remove device. Now, once that's done, um, go to general, go back to Bluetooth. Now you're gonna see your head unit under car uh, in other devices, uh, name CarKit K. Press on that to pair. Now it's gonna ask you for a pin code or basically like a password. Now the password would be four zeros. So it should be four zeros, like one, two, three, four. But if it doesn't work, please try one, two, three, four. Now, as you can see, CarPlay is already loading. So it automatically connects to your um, uh, CarPlay. And this, uh, this also happens to Android Auto when this happens. Now when that happens, please navigate, go back to your phone, navigate back to your phone, and you're gonna see your phone is asking you to um, use CarPlay. Uh, it's basically just asking for permission. All you need to do, uh, press use CarPlay. CarPlay, yep. And as you can see here in the head unit, now everything is good, so that's Spotify. Go to home, as you can see, Everything is all good to go and that should be all good.